I am about to get picked up by an Uber driver to go to an open mic and sing some songs out loud to other people who can hear them. <laughs> this is the part where I psych myself out. Can you hear him up there? The plan. Everybody sounds great. Let's see. I'll just go right into it. <laughs> and play a gig. <laughs> I'm still a little bit in shock, in case you couldn't tell. And this is the part where I try to wind down to go to sleep. And I'm just too pumped up to do anything but party. But there's no party, it's over. I just gotta go to sleep. I'm tired. But I'm not sleepy. Okay, good night. So, that happened. I'm pretty sure I have that thing called imposter syndrome. Anybody else have that going on? Like, no matter how much experience you have, how much time and effort and study and practice you put into something, you still feel like an imposter. Every time somebody gives you attention for that thing that you've worked so hard on all your life, you just suddenly feel, oh, but what if they figure out I'm a fraud? Nobody else thinks you're a fraud and there's nothing to find out. You just feel like an imposter. Cheers to courage, being scared shitless and doing it anyway. I also went to Comic-Con or Fest. Awesome, weird people who love comics, anime, fantasy, geekery and weirdness and all of that and dress up and have a good time. So I went to Comic Festicon-ness thing that happens here. I picked up a couple of buttons. I heart Spock and Shiny. Star Trek and Firefly. The only two sci-fi fantasy shows that have held my attention for years and years and years and years and years on end. I can probably quote Firefly backward and forward if I try, but I'll spare you. Here we go. This is the place. I came here to meet Yvonne Williams and Confession. I already found her and we chatted and she's just absolutely as amazing in person as you would think she is. And I'm like geeking out and being a total fangirl for the first time in my life. It feels so weird. <laughs> and I can't even explain it. I can't explain myself. I just have like the hugest crush on her. I met Yvonne Williams in real life. But I was so excited that I finally found her that I completely forgot to take a picture documented in any way whatsoever. Totally new at this. I came back and we got a picture. I took a little video with her and it was super cute, but then my phone died and it never actually saved, but it happened. She's awesome. If you're not already following her, you probably should be because if you're putting up with my rambling and crafty madness, you would love her. Other updates. I cut my hair. Yep. <gasps> She's Moxie. 
I still need to mail it off. So I'm going to put this in a bag, and I'm going to put that bag in an envelope, and I'm going to take that envelope to the post office, and I'm going to mail it to Locks of Love, and they're going to do what they do with it. Wigify it or sell it for funds to just keep doing what they're doing. Look how long it was. It's crazy town. I love my hair long, and I know it's still long, especially for the summer here in the desert. I'm kind of digging this. It has been a very eventful month. So I started bullet journaling. There's my legend or key as they call it. My reading list. I'm going fancy artsy style. Maybe got carried away. Apparently people who bullet journal get really nerdy about the supplies they're using. It's a thing, okay? <laughs> $7 for a dot grid notebook, regular standard size at Walmart, a Pilot G2 Crayola colored pencils. That's what made this. Balloons for our birthdays and celebrations. Here's a little spread I made for meditation. One of those habits that has always eluded me because it feels so daunting. Like how do you honestly clear your freaking mind. Gratitude spread, it's rays of sunshine, and then every ray is the day of the month and you fill in the one thing that you're grateful for and a tracker, which is rainbow this month because Pride Month, woo -hoo! That's my bullet journal. I'm obsessed with it. It used to be post-its everywhere, but now it's all in my bullet journal and it's helping tons. World of difference. I made this moon phase thing just because. I just like looking at the moon. It's kind of fun to follow the concept of letting it remind you of certain steps in goal setting and checking in with yourself. That's something that has always really spoken to me and so I wanted to make one of these myself because the act of drawing and sketching is something that helps me remember. I made some bee bags and there's a whole video to see the painfully authentic manner in which these came about. I got these two, these little ones, give me the teeniest little Little bee bag. I don't know why that gets me. It's so ridiculous. I figured out what was going on with the footage not uploading, and it turns out that a certain camera I was using had audio issues built right into the hardware so that everything that it recorded and put out was no good. An inordinate amount of footage, tutorials, projects, the felt campfire that I recorded tons of and was so excited to share, a couple of music videos that were really good. All of that was recorded with the compromised camera. I managed to get last month's vlog up in spite of this issue and it still has audio spikes and I'm so sorry. Oh, it's painful. After a lot of troubleshooting help from two very dear people, we figured it out. It's all good now. I'm just behind like two months worth of videos that were shot and some of them edited and I was going to schedule them out but none of them will upload and none of it is playing nice because the camera was compromised. <laughs> I'll be going through that footage again. <sighs> Figuring out where to pick up from there. Where I left off. I'm so heartbroken. <laughs> like, Oh my god. It happened. That happened. It's in the past. It was hell. <laughs> There's June. I'll see you next month and several times in between because I know which camera works now. Okay, just like... I'm just... Oh, terrifying. Does it need to be consistent? If I'm consistently inconsistent, does that constitute consistency? Before I've edited it. Edited it link her or link her or weird <laughs> yeah say weird a few more times weird 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 